Hey everybody, welcome to another video. And as you can see here, I've got the new Pathfinder 2 beginner box set. I'm so excited to open this up. I've been wanting to start, you know, with all of the Pathfinder 2 products uh, in videos. And I wanted to start with the bo beginner box set. It, it is finally here. I literally just got this in the mail, not even 30 minutes ago. Uh, and I'm so excited about it. So you can pick this up on the Paizo website. It is $39.99. And it is sounds like it's chock full of goodness. There's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, and I'm looking forward to opening this up. So uh, it's still shrink wrapped and I haven't even, I haven't touched it yet. So this is everything you need to know what's in the box. A couple of books pre-made characters, uh, there's a bunch of uh, pawns, there's dice, there's some reference cards and everything. So we are going to open this thing right up. I'm so excited about it. And uh, you'll be seeing more Pathfinder 2 uh, openings as well. So boxes, it's not a large box. It's more of a, of a rectangular box. And, you know, instead of the the usual types of boxes that you are familiar with uh, from, you know, D&D &D and all of the past box sets. So uh, this is definitely uh, nice. It's rectangular. It's like the Pathfinder first edition box set and the Starfinder box set. So this is what we've got in here. All kinds of good stuff. Oh, wow. They even give you some bases as well. You can never have too many bases. These things are actually kind of expensive anyway, but you get them in, most of the pawn sets and stuff like that. And the, the big box sets for like the best series or the alien archives. Here's a, just a generic set of die. There's a, a set a seven. looks like this is a, a six piece set. looks like it's just everything you need. Uh, looks like there's a coupon for a siren scape. Uh, yeah. For some, uh, immersive sounds. I do a lot with the adventure paths and stuff. Siren scape. So, Good to see. You got to read this first. Let's see. What is Pathfinder? Pathfinder is a cooperative tabletop role playing game, also called an RPG, a fantasy adventure. Grab some friends and let's play. So this shows you everything what's in the box. Holy cow. This is awesome. It has, has the 13 pawns, uh, one large base. So that means that there's at least one large creature in here. Uh, or a gargantuan creature. There's the dice that we had, the six-piece set. There's the books. Looks like pre-made character. Ooh, wow. Nice pre-made character sheets, the reference cards. I really want to see those. Those look, those look good. So this is what you need to read first for all you experienced uh, role players out there. Feel free to just dive in. Don't, don't read that like I'm not. Oh, here are the reference cards. Oh, wow. I thought there were going to be four-player reference cards. I literally got six. How awesome is that? Thank you, Paizo. I really appreciate it. Wow. There are six player reference cards when I thought there was only going to be four. So looks like uh, here's how to determine your checks. You know, rolling 20s and 1s. Uh, here's all of the different action stuff with your reaction. You can have up to, you can, you know, take up to three actions on each one of your turns. And here's all of the, the main... I wish this was the only amount of conditions in, in Pathfinder 2. That's one of the things in Pathfinder 2 that I, I really don't like is all of the conditions. Uh, but here's a here's a card that uh, has all of the, the main ones here. So, wow, six cards instead of four. I already made out. They're going to watch this video and say, uh, Sir, can you please send us back those two cards? <laughs> so... Oh, here are the, ooh, here's the heroes, guys and gals. Here are the character sheets. Wow, this box is actually full. I like this. This is how a box set should be right here. Not like those skimpy box sets for 10 bucks. Wow, look at those beautiful character sheets. Valoros, my favorite icon. Wow, that's a nice, beautiful character sheet. Has everything, it's color, has everything you need to know, all of the skills, equipment. Well, it kind of breaks everything down for you from A to L. Kind of tells you a little bit about everything about uh, Valorous. As he was a farmhand, you know, he's a human, he's got the human ancestry. Uh, this is nice. 
You know what? I might actually put these in Fantasy Grounds. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? There's a Ezrin the Wizard. So if you want to play a wizard, there you go. Same thing. Nice and beautiful. Wow. Oh, and then it has a full image on the back. And it's uh, actually about the story of the iconic hero. Okay, there's a uh, Valorous. Seen that pose before. Wow, this is really nice. I'm impressed. This is how a box it should be, companies. There's a Kyra, the cleric. All of Kyra's spells and all about spell casting. Very nice. Awesome. Mauriciel, the rogue, or Rouge, if you want to call it a Rouge. <laughs> Uh, looks awesome. She's a linky little thing, isn't she? But she is vicious. <laughs> I've read a couple of the comic books. She is a, she's pretty, she's a badass. So there you go. There's four pre-made character sheets that you can use at the table. Pretty awesome. Set those to the side. Here is the, uh, the hero's handbook. This is a 73 page book. I'm sure this is, Gonna have everything, all the rules. Oh, this is awesome. Uh, Kings, Kings, Pirates, Plunder. Oh, there's a solo adventure in here. Look at this. That is pretty awesome. Wow, I'm gonna have to play this on stream. I have to play this with each of the the pre-made characters. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then there's an example of play. Here's the the rules. Creating uh, your hero. Here's all kinds of ancestries, backgrounds. Uh, doesn't look like it's everything that's in the player's handbook, which I didn't expect it to be that way anyway. So, but there is a lot of uh, content here. Your rouge wizard. So it looks like it has basically just the four classes that are. Uh, on the character sheets but it has a bunch of other ancestries also so which is pretty cool and in pathfinder 2 ancestries uh, they're they're pretty much your your races that would be called races in other books so yeah looks like the beginner box set is following the the core rule book because i know with the pathfinder first edition box set it cut out a lot of everything like the attacks of opportunity and some of the more complex rules but it, it looks like the beginner box set for Pathfinder 2, uh, it looks like it's everything out of the, the core book, which is which is good. So that's nice. This is a nice book, nice and colorful. 73 pages for the uh, beginners, uh, beginner's book. Oh, wow. Here are some blank character sheets too. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six more character sheets. I like it. These would be good to just kind of hold on to and just, you know, color copy them or black and white copy them. Or, but they're double-sided. Looks like they're all the same. They're not class-specific or anything like that. But, you yeah, know, you get six character sheets, which is nice. You never have too many character sheets. Here is the uh, the Beginner's Box Game Master's Guide. Wow, it's a nice hefty little book, too. This is 89 pages. Holy cow. Wow. Oh, and here's the here's the map because it has a flip map in here as well. So this has all of the the locations for the adventure, and it looks like it's a pretty pretty big adventure. I mean, it's got a double sided map, so that's that's pretty awesome. I like that. But it has a uh, menace under Otari is the is the uh, adventure. Wow! So it's a uh, a beginner box set, dungeon adventure. It's got everything broken up in the rooms. I don't know what the adventure is about. So, you know, uh, there's going to be no spoilers or or anything here because, frankly, I haven't even read this yet. So we're not going to know anything about it. But I, I guarantee when the PDF comes out on November 11th, uh, I will be running this. That is for sure. So here's the second level. So... I'm taking it, the double-sided flip mat is broken up into two levels. Looks like lots of kobolds in here, which is cool. 
It's nice to see kobolds instead of goblins and orcs. Wow. Yeah, wow, that's a pretty nice size adventure. That's about a 40-page adventure uh, in the, uh, the Game Master's Guide. That's pretty cool. Wow. Then it talks about, oh, wow, nice. It has a nice section on building adventures, building uh, encounters. Here's uh, some magic items. Oh, here's, I like this, the environments, the different types of creatures for the different types of environments. I like that. That's good. It's not as much. It's in the core book and the Game Master's Guide or the Bestiary, but this is still really nice to begin with. Has a bunch of hazards. Oh, look at that. Has uh, some advanced, yeah, some example, like the slamming door, the scythe blades, the hidden pit. How to create traps. There's uh, magic items. Wow, nice. Lots of beautiful art, even for the magic items. Really nice. Nicely done book. Uh, creatures, I remember reading that there's 20 pages of creatures. And they're all level-based, and they all have art. So it's nice. I mean, these uh, level 1 creatures are pretty tough. I mean, take, for instance, this Drow Warrior. Oh, wow, a Drow Warrior, level 1 Drow Warrior, plus 9 to hit. That's pretty nice for a level 1 character. You know, if you're used to playing other games and they're plus 4 to hit, you know, plus, plus 3 to hit. Yeah, Pathfinder is a whole nother thing. They want less creatures but more strong creatures to have more memorable encounters for your players. So, wow, this is really nice. 20 pages of creatures. Holy cow. Really nice. I'm impressed, actually. This is my second Paizo box set. I bought the Starfinder box set, and it was absolutely beautiful as well. It was set up just like this. Level 5 creature. Wow. Troll, plus 14 to hit at level 5. Wow, oh, look at that. And then it has Otari, which is nice. It has a detailed, uh, detailed fleshed-out town. I like it. Everything from uh, the Stone Ring Pond to the Rowdy Rockfish, which is a tavern. There's all kinds of information on the key players inside of Otari. This is nice. So you can, you know, plug and play this adventure anywhere you wanted to. So some DCs in the back. So that's a, that's a nice book. Game Master's Guide. Uh, like I said, there's a total of 89 pages. Here are the double-sided, here is the double-sided flip map. Wow, this thing's nice. One-inch grids. Won't be able to fold it all out, but as you can see, it is, it is double-sided. And it is two levels, so that's nice that the dungeon will be a two-level dungeon grind. That's cool. So I won't be able to unfold all of that, but it really does look nice. And, the, you know, this is the same quality as all of the other Pathfinder flip mats. So, I mean, yeah. And then last but not least, uh, yeah, look at this. Over 100 uh, pawns. This is really nice. These are, I would take it, these are all of the creatures that are in uh, the starter adventure. So, yeah, there you go. Oh, wow, look, even action tokens and stuff. Pretty cool. Ooh, is that a Minotaur? Yeah, there it is. The giant skeleton. Wow, look at that. Ooh, there's an owl bear. Looks like there's a, a basilisk, some animated armor, some boars, some uh, giant centipedes. Wow, really nice. I like these. It looks like new art, too. Everything from small to large creatures are in this adventure. Plus, you got the, the, the stand ups, too. So, really nice. So you get over a hundred of those, and then you get something here on the bottom for Pathfinder Society. A world of adventure, exploration, and intrigue awaits. Join the Pathfinder Society today. And then it has some advertisements or advertisements, if you wish to call them. Uh, yeah, core rulebook, player's guide, bestiary, game master's guide. And uh, I believe this adventure is a level one, two adventure. The, uh, the creature in Otari here for the beginner box set. But next month in December of 2020, there is a, uh, I think it's a 64-page standalone adventure. 
and it's troubles in our tar troubles in Atari and this this standalone adventure will continue uh, from the beginner box set so that's uh, that's pretty awesome lots of great stuff 39.99 uh, if you have the if you have four subscriptions with uh, Paizo uh, you actually get a 15% discount so I actually paid thirty three dollars for this that's what it said on my bill because I already have uh, all of the subscriptions. So you get a, uh, uh, an even further steeper discount. And then when, you know, you'll also get the, the PDFs as well if you pre-order anything that has a PDF or if you have the subscriptions, you'll automatically, uh, you'll automatically get the uh, PDFs in most cases. So yeah, this is a beautiful beginner box set, guys. I mean, the quality is awesome. I got two extra player reference cards. I'm so happy about that. That's really cool. Uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful box at $39.99 regular price on the Paizo website. Uh, get out there and take advantage of picking this up and you know try out some Pathfinder 2. It's a great game. Uh, a lot of players are starting to move to Pathfinder 2, and I can see Pathfinder 2 getting more and more popular over the next couple of years. So uh, get on board now, guys. So there it is, the Pathfinder 2nd Edition Beginner Box Set. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I really like what I see. I mean, for 40 bucks, I mean, this is a beautiful box set. I mean, it has everything you need. It has pawns, dice, a double-sided flip mat you can use for any adventure that you want to use it for. You don't have to use it for just the beginner box set. So, yeah, this is a great box set. So, thank you guys, uh, and thank you, Paizo, for the extra couple of reference cards, <laughs> even though I'm sure that probably wasn't meant to be, but... Anyways, thanks everybody for watching. Please do me a huge favor. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. So until next time, I'm David and keep watching videos. Thanks everybody.